Hi everybody. Um, so I, I've come on today to share with you two projects that I've been working on. Um, I had two swaps this month on the group um, and the themes were loaded envelope purse or shoe, um, something to put on a Christmas table and butterflies. So I've picked loaded envelope for both ladies um, and obviously I won't um, I'm not going to be putting this video up until they've received these. So I'm going to show you exactly what's in both of them. Um, which one should we go first? We'll go this one first. Not the one I've just picked. This one. Okay, so this one, um, even though the theme was loaded envelope purse or shoe, in my mind, I picked a particular theme. I found that I picked a by picking a particular theme to work on with these loaded envelopes, it was a lot easier. So the theme I've picked for inside this envelope is sewing. Um, it could be, you know, a vast range of things. So it could be uh, paper sewing, could be fabric sewing, could be anything. But the theme I picked to go in this was sewing. So that's what the envelope looks like full. And as you can see, it's jam packed. And I'm going to show you a bit by bit of what's in it. So I'm going to start off with the smaller pocket. Um, this envelope, before I go any further, measures uh, five and a half inches wide by eight, three, nine, ten, eleven inches tall with all the goodies inside without the goodies it measures eight inches so i've done it five and a half by eight and then with all the goodies it measures 11. so i'm going to start off with this little pocket first there we are. <laughs> it was called catching on the beads so like i say i was doing a sewing theme um so the bottom of the pocket i made myself like a little envelope um, it's supposed to be a pocket on the shirt. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a second. But I made it like a little envelope pocket. And this little tag is Graphic 45. It's um, on like chipboard. And it just says the word style. And I just thought that would correspond with what I'm doing. Because it, the lady's got necklaces and hats on. So whoever receives this can... Um, Actually, I can tell you who's receiving this. So, the lady who's receiving this is Polly. Um, so she can Polly can take um the tag in and out. She can use it. She can do what she wants to it. So the first pocket I did, I made a little um a little pin book. Um, it was basically made made out of scraps. I didn't cut anything particular up. It was made out of scrap material. Um, and I obviously did um, handmade um, flower there, ribbon rose, as I call them. Um, some beading and it ties. So I'll untie it. And then inside, again, all made out of scraps. I've got all the pins, plain ones, so Polly can decorate them. There are a few that are already done like these and these little pins measure one and a half so they're not big at all um by by using scrap materials i also made these two little pockets so in this little pocket here um are just little small little doilies um little appliques as i you know small little appliques polly can use on her projects back in there and then on this side um the smaller ones again so i've gone for that one i've gone for a crocheted flower one i haven't made this i don't know how to crochet so i've put that in because i thought it would correspond with it um but I, that's the only thing i probably i haven't made is the crocheted one so it all ties nice and i put this gorgeous um trim at the bottom as well so let me tie this back up And again, it was just done out of scraps. It wasn't done out of anything um, I cut. So there's that. 
then in the other so we're in the same pocket this is a little envelope i've made um i've actually this is a, a button so i made a ribbon um rose flower and then i put a button on the top um it's also velcroed so the flap's not going to come undone and then inside the flap we have some small already made these weren't done by me obviously shop bought um ribbon roses and i had quite a few of them so i put quite a few back i put a few in the envelope should i say so let me take that from there and then on the back um i actually made the envelope um off my uh what do you call it my i call it ladybug she doesn't hurt me i can't remember what she's called the circuit that's it um and i used let me see i used you are i used this one zoo zoo baller um is the one i used and that is the pattern that i use so this is on the circuit that i cut them out and I obviously um, use the wood paper from, I use the wood paper from the range, not the works. It was um, on your little book um, and I just thought it blended quite nicely. And then on the back, I made this belly band and on the back we have some tags. I love Beatrix Potter so I wanted to put a little bit of me in this loaded envelope too. So you've got Beatrix Potter's um, little postcards and i got these from sd and i just printed them off on photo paper some are actually printed on paper get that way and then that one see so like i say probably you can use them to your heart's content um the ones printed out on um photo paper they come out really really pretty and i quite like them the, the texture of them so that's that this is the first pocket now i did a little spool here with the dangles now the spool doesn't come off but i just thought it being a sewing theme um it just blended really nicely and it gave that element of it the envelope wasn't so flat here then is a little i'm not going to take it off but this is a little pin um embellishment flower embellishment i bought from crafty me shop and i placed it on my loaded envelope so polly you can take that off if you want to so that's the first envelope and i turned the corners reeled the corners back um i put some nice pink um trim through and i made a little bow i don't know whether you guys can see that just there I made a little tiny bow there's my spoon there's my flower so then we come up to the next envelope um, next pocket the next pocket i made a dress form um i what i did with this i um i picked these dress forms up from my local craft um, craft shop and then i cut around it leaving a border so the one at the back it was done by me it was freehand and that one um was obviously shop bought i've aged it all the way around with using the tim holtz um i think i used vintage photo to age it all the way around and then i used some embellishments again just to give it that a bit of um depth into it i've used some flowers here some flat back pearls tiny ones and then my little message on the back and then what i've done is i've used the flat back bows as well so there's my dress form and she can hang it up so which is why i've left that as well so there's that then there's this um i printed some images off on freezer paper there's actually three images in there um polly can use them um to, on her, her projects so she can take them straight off the freezer paper and use them as is and then i decorated the top with some flowers um for when she opens there so the next one since the other theme was butterflies i wanted to put my own butterflies in now i've made these using watercolor pens and um a punch and um craft angel online you inspired me to make these 
um so i made a few and i it's ever since um you showed us on the video what you did you've really inspired me to do them so thank you craft crafty angel online um shilpa see so do you bring back this in um so i've made some of them and they were really they blended in quite well with the theme as well then this one um i made some small ribbon roses again using scraps but i did it so that it was um it looked like a bouquet of flowers so she can take these off they're not stuck down the leaves are but these are aren't um stuck down so she can take them off and use them in her projects and then i blended it with um a nice cluster of flowers and i put a little butterfly in the corner as well i also used this stamp um not any particular stamp i think i had this from oh, the range and then i used the vintage photo and then i just a one particular where i was stamping and it just gives that really nice effect on the back i love the old style right in so there's that and then on the back so that's that pocket emptied on the back he says isn't she lovely and i'm going to put polly's name there um and then this is actually graphic 45 chipboard pieces it matches in with this little tag and then these little tag shirt they all read the same thing and it says paris london new york and i had three the exactly the same but in different colors i've used two different uh, papers here i've used um the papers set that angie paisley gave me and then this top paper and um, the wood effect was um from the range and it was a christmas um range of papers they had 32 in a pack can't remember what it's called off the top of my head but i know it's done by dual crafts and then before i get to the top pocket i've done a little peg um it's in the shape of a fan and i again have used scraps i haven't used anything particular again on this this wasn't obviously scraps but everything else was um i've used ribbons and all sorts and then i actually used um tissue paper and i decoupaged the peg so the peg hasn't always been like that it was a plain peg i took the peg apart completely it was a nightmare to get it back back to where it was but i took it all apart and i decoupaged it and then i stuck uh, my fan on there so that's that then just here dangling here which is why it won't sit flat is some beading that Polly can use on her projects. Again, this is done by a paper clip, so you can take it off, Polly, if you want to. So there's that. There's these. These are actually done on my cuddle bug. Um, and I had the actual stamp set again from the range. There's five stamp, there's five sort of dies in one little pack. Um, and since it was a sewing theme I was going for, I decided to print them out on um, paper and then they just stuck back, as you can probably see on that one, with double sided foam pads. And again, Polly can take them off and use it. And then I did a cluster of flowers on the top to blend in with all the rest of them. This one, then, even though it doesn't look much, um is actually a big huge it measures i would say at least six inches once it's out and puffed out it's all done in white fabric white laces again use my scraps the reason i've done it in white and i haven't put any center in is because what i thought was polly you could either dye it um and you'd have you know if you dyed the different laces you'd have um well you'd have a different color obviously but um the the what i'm trying to say is if you dyed the laces you'd have a two-tone flower so which is why i've left them all white i haven't put a middle in because i thought you'd like to do that and i didn't want to take away from the because at the end of the day what i kept saying on the group was the loaded envelope was the embellishments the other person could use so i didn't want to put the middle in and and use fabrics that had color in just in case you wanted to use it in your projects but once it's puffed out 
it measures about a good six inches so again i did a cluster of flowers at the top use that stamp again which i'm absolutely in love with um i followed it through on the back as well because this one actually pokes out at the top and then inside here is one of these now inside i ordered these oh god months and months and months ago and um, what they actually are is old vintage um sewing patterns i have got a big massive range of them and i thought i'd put one in since this was a sewing theme it just fitted really well and then i've put one of these in um a few to alter and basically you lift the top and then you can open it that way and it opens to a good sized bag so it opens like that see so that's that just put this back in uh, and then that's what the envelope actually looks like once it's empty so I'm gonna put that there and you'll see what I mean when I put this one in about it poking at the top and then that one goes just there oops I'm going to put that just there like so. There's 11 um, embellishments all together in both loaded envelopes. And then on the back, I've um, decorated it on the back too. And I've used that Graphic 45 chipboard pieces I had. And I've put this one on there and it reads, A girl should be two things, classy and fabulous. And that was Graphic 45 made another ribbon rose i quite like making them in front of the tv and then these were my newest newest tags i've just recently bought and um they were sewing based theme and i thought you could use them on your projects which is why i've put them in there that one says got a sewing machine on um mm -hmm, this one Uh, dress form um, and these two small tags so I hope you like your loaded envelope Polly I really do um, I enjoyed making this with you in mind and um, yeah it's loaded all right <laughs> so I hope you really enjoyed that um, and let me know what you guys think of because I obviously won't put this video up until the two ladies have received both envelopes. Um, let me know what you think in the in the comment section below. I'd love to know what you all thought or what I've all made in this envelope. And Polly, I hope you really enjoy um, looking at your loaded envelope. Um, so don't go anywhere. I'm going to now show you the other one. So that's the first one I did. This is the second one. this is the second one so the second one um i didn't have an actual theme in mind what i had in mind when i was making this was embellishments the things that i'm using in my projects what you know would i like them to use on um their projects so this one was made for sharon in mind and um i'm gonna take you through it this actually measures the same um it just over yeah it's just over 10 inches long and again five i think i said five and a half no yeah five and a half inches wide um so this is the loaded envelope this is what it looks like once it's full and i'm going to take you at the bottom so the bottom says life is beautiful i've done a little cluster of flowers in each corner and in this little pocket i've made the actual pocket this pocket a bit lower um, whereas that one was made a bit higher so this one has got this uh, beautiful trim that I had from um, Home Bargains is where I had this it's absolutely gorgeous trim so that was that there's a pin I thought there was a pin missing 
try and just be careful when you open this because the pin um i knew it was there but just have a look when you open it that it hasn't gone come out there, i'm gonna stick it there and then i made a little bow at the top as well on that so again i made a little envelope on this one too um i made a ribbon rose on this and when I open it up, again, it's Velcroed. It's got buttons, old-fashioned buttons in um, that you can use on your project, Sharon. And there's, you know, it's all all full, all different buttons. I made sure that they were different ones. I think some of them are matching. And then on the back, again, a belly band and some tags. So these tags, again, were Beatrix Potter in mind. Um, some are printed on paper. Some printed on photo paper and I just think they're so cute and you can use them almost anywhere so those are them I've had great fun making these loaded envelopes I must admit never actually made a loaded envelope made a load of purse but not a loaded envelope so Again, I made a little tag. I've left the front plane because I thought I wanted to fill it up with nice dangles and trims. Finished off with a paper rose. And then on the back is my message. And then I did, I have actually put a little, ta uh, little tab so you can pull it out if um, when you get it, Sharon, so you don't feel frightened that you're going to break it. This one, again, has got pearl trim on. And this time, instead of that little trim in the middle, I've put pearls. And it's got a bow in. Um, I haven't put a pin in this one because the pin kept coming out. Um, so I had to sort of um, tangle, you know, fold it over so it wouldn't kept coming off. I decorated the these are wooden spools I had off eBay, and I've decorated them with um, the paper pack that Andrew Paisley gave me, and then I finished it off with vintage photo. But it's actually gorgeous paper. It's got um, birds and roses on it's really really nice so that's what the well besides those two things i've just showed you that that's what the bottom looks like and we're on this envelope now um so i've been making these on the group um and i just i came up with them when i was sat in front of the tv one day um and they, what they are they're fabric tags um made out of fabric your scraps um some fabrics some bits on here are actually dyed from previous projects and i just put it together on a fabric tag because it is made out of fabric felt being the base but the lace and the trims being fabric i've also put a little ta tab thing pulley thing i've put some pins so you've got um three pearl pins button pins and bow pins on there and then this one is done with that same thing in mind except i've used just different trims so i finished this off with a flower um i actually did that with some organza ribbon and you basically just fold it over um and make a bow effect and then that's the back and it turned out really really nice then these i've never actually made these before and i sat um i sat watching inspiration of youtube and i saw somebody make them i cannot think who actually watched a few channels and i sat there and they're quite easy to make um so my first attempt is in this pack so i hope you like these sharon they're called pinwheels i think they're called pinwheels um and they'd like i said they're so easy to make so again sharon can use these on her projects finished it off with that stamp on the back and a cluster of flowers back on front so that's that and then on this one it says i'm just going to lift this up it does say believe you can and you will and um i've backed that up with paper and then this paper that I've used is Graphic 45 paper. Um, so all the paper on you, except for that white paper there, is Graphic 45. And then I finished it off with some pearl trim. So you can sort of see where I was going with this. Then on the top, 
um, is this is an actual peg so it's a clothesline peg decoupaged in tissue paper and then I've made this fan out of um, scraps of material um, there's I'll have to do a video on how I start this because I did show it in the group but I think some of the ladies said they're going to be confused on how I've started it so I'll have to do another video um, I've also put some dangles and trims these came um, out of my drawer I used to make jewellery so they were on um, a little they're on like a little teapot thing sorry guys you're not seeing that so those are the charms and then that's the fan so again it's a clothesline peg it is um, so we've got a little peg here these I bought I didn't actually make these but I thought they were super cute and it actually gives it a bit of dimension then on the back I've made some leaves now I have actually made these before in the past um, these were done with watercolour pe pens um, my brushes and then what I've done is I've used my punch I've punched the shape out and then I've stuck them on the wires so Sharon you can use these in your projects and you've still got the wire if you still want to do the spiral that I love doing so again there's loads in there some of the leaves are doubled up some of them are single but yeah there's loads to play with and again a cluster of flowers on the top I have folded it through on the on the quite of the back um, this paper that I is in here um, again came from the range um, it was a, a small little pack of that yay big so on the back then there's two handmade flowers in here um, these have actually got colour in um, but I just thought these are the type of flowers I would use on my projects and I wanted to include what I use in this loaded envelope so on one of them you've got some rolled ribbons rolled ribbon flowers as I call them because all you do is just wind a ribbon or wind a piece of scrap material around to make a rose shape and that's what I've done I've put that on a flower and I've put them in the bag and I finished this one off I didn't want it to overload with it because the pack is so full and this flowers on the other one I've put a, an applique and then I've just put this tiny little pink flower on the top and it just finishes off really really nice so that's what's that then I put another one of these in these are so handy to have because you can put almost anything with them so as you open it up Sharon you'll notice there's a bag in here and in the bag I've cut, die cut using my cuddle bug um, some die cuts out so you've got but butterflies because butterflies with the theme feathers keys and all different shapes and sizes and then on the back you've got bigger feathers you've got a big massive butterfly theme and then you've got a fairy and i don't know whether you'll be able to make the fairy out but she's sitting on a swing so then i cut that on paper so you've got some of them to play with and you've also got the bag to alter as well if you wanted to so that's the bag let me put this back in because I will okay so I did this on a V shaped I didn't cut it straight like the other one I wanted them to be slightly different because they were going to two different people I didn't want them to be the same um, for that reason so I kept what I was doing um, a, a different because um, I just thought, you know, I didn't want to do sewing theme for the both. Um, I just wanted, and I know Sharon watches me quite a lot on the group. Um, and she's really intrigued by what I'm using. And I just thought it would be so nice to finish that off with um, some embellishments that I use in my projects. So there's that there's them they go in there on that little peg and then on the back i am again graphic 45 i've actually made this out of um the paper from the range 
<laughs> I was forgetting then. And then I've used the stamp. And as you can see, I'm not picky when I'm using the stamp or where it is going. I just think it adds that really nice effect. Um, vintage photo was the ink I used to do that. And then tucked behind this wheel is some die cuts I've cut out of these on the circuit. So let me show you the die cuts. So you have two tags. You have come on. You have two different size spools shapes to play about with and then you have two sort of oval shapes to play about with so yeah that's what um i hope you like your loaded envelope sharon it was so much fun to work with something especially for you in mind um and like you say for the both ladies that are receiving this i really do hope you love your loaded envelopes because i really enjoyed making them for the both of you and um, excuse me please let me know what you think in the comment section below and like i say um yeah i'm just very blessed that, that um i was making something for you in mind so thank you very much um for everybody that was watching and I will come back with more videos and more project shares. So I'll speak to you then. And thank you for everybody that's inspired me to make these. Um, thank you for everybody that's been watching and my new subscribers. Um, welcome to my channel. Hope you find it inspiration like I do yours. And I will catch up with you next time. So until next time, I will shall speak to you all then. Take care. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.